and welcome back to this tutorial series where we are going over the various settings within the Fantasy Grounds Unity application. In this short video, we are going to cover the troubleshooting tab, specifically called Troubleshoot, that is within the Fantasy Grounds Unity's updater utility. And this tab has been designed to help you troubleshoot issues that you might be having within Fantasy Grounds Unity before getting to the point of contacting SmiteWorks support channels. And with that, let's begin with the Gather Logs button, which, as you might surmise, does just what the button says. It will go through and gather up the various log files into a zip file that you can then use when submitting a support request. When you click on the Gather Logs button, you will be prompted as to where you wish to store these files. By default, it's going to store it to your desktop. If you want to change it to a different location, then you enter that into this particular field here. You can then set a name or you can actually just simply go through and hit export logs and it will use a default naming convention, specifically your account name and then the time and date that the file was actually created. It will also automatically pop open a Windows Explorer window highlighting the file that you just created, which I'm not showing on the screen here. If you're concerned about what content is stored in the zip file, it's only going to gather log files associated with Fantasy Grounds Unity's application, specifically the updater as well as the application itself, into one zip file. No other information about your computer is captured, and you can see for yourself by creating a log file and then opening the generated zip file. Additionally, this file is not automatically submitted to SmiteWorks. You have to do that manually, so if you feel the need to sanitize some data within the file before you do so, this gives you the opportunity to do that. The Show Setup button, however, is one that will run you through the proper order of setting up Fantasy Grounds Unity, meaning it will ask you for your data directory, prompt you for your Fantasy Grounds store credentials before prompting you for your license key, and then asking if you would like to recreate the desktop or the start menu icons, all in a specific order. Once all of that is done, it will then initiate an update process to ensure that the most recent files are downloaded and installed, which includes the updater itself, the Fantasy Grounds Unity application, and any core rules, modules, supplements, token map, or portrait packs that you have purchased. Now, I'm not going to show that on screen simply because I have the setup the way that I want it to be, and it could complicate things for me down the road, although it is supposed to be safe to rerun if you've already got things set up, and you simply enter in the exact same information. But it can also be used to create a fresh install of Fantasy Grounds Unity somewhere else. The Force App Update button will essentially reset the application install data so that it needs to be reinstalled again. If you suspect that corruption was introduced during a recent update or it is not pulling down an update when you know it's got an update pending, then you can use this button to force it to re-download the updater as well as the application itself. This will not blow away any of your existing data, campaigns, or other items as it's only going to reset the application's installed content. The Clear Vault button does the same thing that Force Update button does, but this time it's for any core rule set, module, supplement, token, map, or portrait packs that you might have purchased. This is going to remove and then re-download all of those modules. So if you've purchased 20 modules, this will remove all of them and then force the application to re-download them. There is also the risk that if you added custom modules that you've purchased from DMs Guild or the Forge sites, then you might also have those removed in this process. Fantasy Grounds Unity will not know where to get those, so you're going to have to manually put them back into place. But it's also possible those modules may be the source of your problems, so it's a good thing that they get removed because it will allow you to test that. I do, however, recommend that you create a backup of all of your save data. This includes your campaigns, any custom modules or extensions that you've installed, portraits or token packs that you've created, and any other data that you've added to Fantasy Grounds just in case. As I do use a number of custom modules that I've purchased off of DMs Guild, I am not going to do that here because once again, I don't want to have to go through the process of resetting that up. Honestly though, it is best to only do this if and only if SmiteWorks support has asked you to do so, as this option does have a little bit of risk with it, and it really is a last ditch effort to try to fix any issues that you might be running into short of clearing out all your settings. Speaking of, the last button does just that. It will clear out all of your application settings, though it won't remove a campaign's given configuration. What it will do, though, is trick Fantasy Grounds Unity into thinking you're installing a fresh copy, i.e. you're going through the installation process once again, thus forcing you to go through and reinstall the entire application. This will include the updater, the application, and all modules that you have purchased into the location that you now specify. So it does give you a chance to create a newly installed copy to see if the issues you were running into 
were related to the old previously installed copy. Once again, this is something where I recommend you make backups of everything before you do this, as it will make your old campaign and whatnot inaccessible until you move the data into the newly installed location. If you are being asked to do this by SmiteWorks, I highly recommend you install the content into a brand new location and not remove the old installed data until you're sure things are working as expected. However, this does complete everything we want to discuss in relation to this troubleshoot tab. So let's move on to the next video.